welcome to this video today we are reading a story from the magic drum and other stories by sudha murthy magic drum and other stories by sudha murthy today we shall read the case of the missing necklace princess chandravati was very beautiful she loved all kinds of jewelry and always wanted to wear the most precious lovely jewels once a jeweler came to palace and gifted the king a wonderful diamond necklace it glittered the diamond necklace glittered the princess fell in love with it as soon as she saw it it was certainly expensive it was big diamonds all over so the king presented it to her after that the princess always wore the necklace wherever she went one day she was walking in the palace garden and she felt like taking a dip in the pond she took off the necklace and put it in the hands of her oldest and most trusted servant hold this she said be careful most precious necklace in the world the servant woman settled down under the tree holding tightly on to the woman but it was a hot summer afternoon and they have been walking for a while slowly the woman says started closing and soon she was snoring just as she was drifting off into the wonderful dream she felt someone tugging the necklace from her hand she woke up with a start and looked around there was no one and the necklace was gone scared out of her wits she started screaming the royal guards rushed up and pointed to the direction she thought the thief may have taken the guards ran off that way now who should be walking on the road but a poor and slightly stupid farm as soon as he saw a pattern of king's palace guards rushing down the road thundering towards him he thought they wanted to catch him and started to run but he was not a very strong man and could not run they have to guards they fought him in no time where is it they demanded chain where is what she said necklace you stole the guards started shouting the farmer had no idea what they were talking about he only understood something was lost and he was supposed to have it i don't know where it is now he said quickly i gave it to my landlord the guards now ran to the guards house in the landlord's house give us a necklace they demanded to the fat landlord as he started balancing his accounts necklace the landlord was startled i don't know how many then tell us quickly who does the landlord saw the priest walking by the house he pointed a chubby finger at him leaders the man has it. the gods now caught hold of the priest who was walking to the temple thinking about the creepy pies and his wife has made for lunch he was stunned when a pack of burly gods jumped on him and demanded the necklace He remembered the minister Bhupati who was at the temple now praying to the goddess. He took the gods to the temple and pointed at the praying minister and gave it to him. Bhupati too was all caught and all four men were thrown into jail. Now the chief minister of the kingdom knew Bhupati well. He was a good and honest man who had served the king faithfully for many years. So the chief minister was puzzled. Why had Bhupati suddenly stolen the princess's favorite ornament? He decided to find out and asked one of his spies to listen to the men as they were talking at the jail. First, Bhupati asked the priest, "Why did you say you gave me the necklace? I was praying quietly in the temple, and you landed me in jail." The priest scratched his head and pointed to the ladder. I didn't know what else to do, but he said the gods on me. I was only walking by his house. The landlord looked sheepish. Then he turned burning eyes on the farmer. "You lazy, good for nothing! Why did you say I stole the necklace?" The farmer, trembling under the angry gaze of the demon, said, "The guard jumped on me so suddenly. I did not know what to say." When the spy reported this conversation to the chief minister, he understood that none of these men were the thief. So who was it? He ordered a thorough search of the palace garden, especially where the servant had sat down. The soldiers searched high and low till they saw something glinting in the tree. There sat a huge monkey, and around its neck was the most beautiful and the precious necklace in the whole world. Of course, it took a lot of coaxing and a huge bunch of banana before the monkey agreed to have the necklace removed from its neck. and the princess decided the world's most expensive diamond necklace was best worn in those this is a story of the expensive necklace where the princess lost it the story is from the book the magic drum by sudha murthy